Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my front yard here at Zoodestia Zoo. I am still wearing my little bunny outfit to celebrate the fact that Easter is amazing. And we have Easter eggs everywhere and we have my birthday present. The beautiful drafts that our wonderful friend Pavo has made for us. And they are gorgeous and they're so big now. So you guys may remember yesterday they were tiny cute little babies that I was kind of booping noses with. And now they are gigantic and beautiful and glorious and look at their tails! Look at their tails, the animations on these things. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. You're so beautiful. I love you so much. Look at that. Look at that. You can watch as she chews with her little mouth going there. Oh my gosh. But we have three giraffes and they are quite a bit bigger now. I thought for a while that we could just kind of keep them in my yard. And now they have already grown significantly. So I'm a little bit unsure about the long-term viability of keeping my giraffes in my front yard. But I am so happy. I am still totally blown away and so happy to have them so please you guys remember to say thank you to pavo these are beautiful they are glorious and like i mentioned yesterday they are only one of the many amazing creatures that hopefully we'll be able to introduce into our world thanks to their hard work the hard hard work of our mod authors who are with us ben alex and pavo all all help to tinker away at things and oh my goodness look at you look at you are you hungry and then I hope that I can like live up to the amazing work that they have done by getting to share all of the amazing things that we can learn about the natural world with you guys. But I babbled about that yesterday. So, all right, we've got a couple things to do today. Today, I want to feed our giraffes because I want to make sure they have plenty of food and they aren't nibbling on my vanilla tree because that might not end well. And so we are going to get them some acacia leaves because that is apparently what makes up the majority of a giraffe's diet. They very rarely eat grass, which can be super understandable because grass is way down here giraffe is way up there the two would kind of have to work really hard to be able to meet so we're going to get some acacia leaves and put them up on like tall feeders so that the giraffes will be able to reach them and we are also going to try putting away all of the rest of my presents we have butterflies we've got like happy birthday notes we've got like flowers the ravens the birds the squirrels so many amazing things that we need to put all around Round of our zoo so I'm so excited there's just always so much to do and now that we have the giraffes uh, we can't really fly over to the area that I want to show you guys because both of our chocobo are currently on eggs and we'll be seeing them on their eggs very soon but way over here and if we have time I might even just take a poke at it because I was going to start clearing out some of this jungle area so that we would be able to get our Asian forest elephants and now we need to start thinking about where we're going to be putting our African savanna elephants but there's a really beautiful savanna area so we might if we get everything put away in time see if we can wiggle our way over there just to take a glimpse of it and kind of poke around it a little bit so that we know what to expect for where I want to put our giraffes but the giraffes in like showing up and making us think more about how we need to spread out into the entirety of our zoo areas. I really do want to start getting some of the paths laid down because whenever we can get these paths down, then it's a lot easier to start building up all of the areas around the zoo, around the path. Kind of like what we've done down here. Now that we've put paths down here, we have the Walnut Center where we should take our little forest squirrels. I think they're right here somewhere there they are and we have three little forest squirrels that we can add in as new members of the family uh, down at the squirrel wellness center so we'll be able to put them down there and that will be absolutely adorable and let's see what else we have hiding inside of the mailbox from our wonderful gifts yesterday look at all this I have so much cake. There's cake and diamonds and chocolate sprinkles cake that I just know all of the little chips are going to love. There are gold ore berries that we can actually take and we can smelt these. For those of you guys who have never seen these gold ore berries before, we can take them and we can smelt them down into um, do, 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 somewhere. Here we go. Into gold nuggets. And then you can turn the gold nuggets into gold ingots. But you can also use these in shaped crafting to make all sorts of like steam engines. This silky cloth, I think we might need to make because because we need to get a silky jewel and use that to make a new silk touch pickaxe because we unfortunately lost bat pick after so long we'll have to make back pit like bat pick 2.0 perhaps or uh, well we already have mole fingers that's my cool shovel and so we'll have to make some new um, some new tools that really sucks that I lost some of those things when the backpack but I threw the backpack to the side to help pick up like our precious zombie villagers before they despawned and pick up all the zombie graves it was just chaos you guys saw that there's a sunstone catalyzer. I have no idea what that does. We're gonna have to look into that one day. 
a lot of upgrades to radiuses for different things, laser, laser focuses. Basically, there's so much to do. There's the description tags, almost forgot about those. There's the golden railway ticket, the citrus batteries. Oh my gosh, yeah, basically there's always so much to do in the zoo and we'll have so many adventures to go on. It's gonna be fantastic. And we also happen to have, let's put these away. Let's maybe put the tiny birds away. Look at all this, there's just so much loot. So much loot, this is fantastic. And we've also got all of these zombies villagers to cure that is going to be a amazing project and we're going to probably have to expand zombie village you guys no joke you know how much i love curing zombie villagers uh and adding them to zombie village and for those of you guys who don't know or might be like poking around and coming by to say hi for the first time because of the amazing things that we did on sunday uh let's move these guys all right there we go oh it's a baby zombie villager or somebody who's wearing some boots that's actually going to be a zombie villager wearing some boots or who took a teensy bit of damage but yeah i love curing our zombie villagers with the syringes of golden apples that we get and then i take all of our cured zombie villagers and they become members of zombie village which is right here so they become happy active villager members but i'm beginning to think that the village is getting a little bit crowded and we need to expand it so I have a feeling we'll continue to expand whoops and now we can't really see but yeah we'll continue to expand the village so don't you guys worry and we'll probably make it a lot bigger get in more security as well so we can make sure my villagers stay alive and just have lots of fun things to add and lots of little cotton all right well that is so fantastic so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to Alex and Pavo for those amazing birthday gifts. This is just fantastic. This is gonna keep us busy for so long and we already had so much to do in the zoo. So it's just so much fun. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna add in, mm, I'll take the cotton with us. Add in all of the flowers and the extra pieces. The hedge fencing can just hang out in here because why not? Um, let's see, any more flowers? Well, I've got some oak leaves. They're just kicking around in here. Here's some more leaves that we can just kind of put away. Oh wait, some of these are supposed to go into the walnut center. Okay, I'm gonna put these into the walnut center. Birch leaves can probably go away. Uh, don't know about the Swedish ivy. Oh, and I need to actually, okay, so we need to go to the walnut center to put the squirrels away today. But I also need an acacia tree and I need to grow it like right now so we can get some, oh, there's the acacia sapling. Uh, maybe I should take a few of these actually. And let's go grow it if I've got my bone meal somewhere. Uh, I think I lost the bone meal when I lost Lily's old backpack. Ah, phooey. We might have to go back to the nether and grab more of these bone segments soon. Because without the bone segments, I don't have enough bone meal to really get all of the gardening we do, which is so much gardening, done. So let's see, there's some bone meal. And now I need to make sure, here's some shears. I might need some new shears. And uh, what about, do, 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 what about, I was thinking like a fence post or a carpenter's fence post that we could put up for, how do you do carpenter's fence post again? Let's see, for our drafts so that we can make, there we go, okay, so that would be a carpenter's fence post. But yeah, I was thinking it would be really fun to make um, some carpenter's fence post for our giraffes so that they can have, let's see, and then, where did it go again? Okay, do I need to, let's, look, there we go. All right, here we go, and there. So that they can have poles, do, do, do. Okay, apparently it's not gonna show for some reason. Oh, that's fine. But this is so that they can have some poles that we will put their food up on top of. I wonder what kind of wood they might want. Let's see, do I have any acacia wood? I guess I could get some acacia wood just from when we're doing this. So let's go cut these down. And I might try growing one in their yard too to see how they do, but it might affect my berry, my other, my other bushes. Giraffes don't lay dodo eggs. What is this about, huh? If you guys lay dodo eggs, that's just, that's a little bit too much, but I know that's not them, so we'll not worry about it. All right, over here, um, maybe, I don't want to affect like the plants I have growing in my garden. All right, over here, I think I can safely grow this tree. If it will, oh, there we go, all right. Oh, that's perfect! You know what? I'm gonna keep that tree there forever now because it's gonna remind me of the time when giraffes came and this is perfect because look at how it's kind of like double layered. The giraffes will be able to forage off this and have plenty of food. That is wonderful. That turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. All right, and then we're gonna try to like go somewhere that doesn't have a lot of trees. Well, I'm gonna be honest, you guys, it's me. There's not really anywhere nearby my home that does not have a lot of trees. So we're gonna go down to the other side of Zombery Village where there's not a lot of trees. 
Uh, I've got to stay away from the rainbow oak, too, because I don't want to cut down the villager's rainbow oak by accident. Here we go! So here's where I'm thinking of expanding the village, uh, kind of over here. And this actually leads back to my house, too. See? There's the path you can take to kind of loop around my house underground. And let's come this way and put this down. And I'm going to get some acacia leaves. Ooh, these are really pretty! Holy days! I do not remember these being so beautiful. And they're really beautiful. All right, so whoops, there goes my shears. <laughs> Is that really all I get? Oh wait, no, I have lots of shears, thank goodness. See, a good botanist always carries plenty of shears, botanist shears on her so that I'm able to reach these, there we go. All right, let's do this, let's do this and jump up here and cut these down. Wonderful, wonderful, that should probably be enough. Yeah, that's probably plenty of acacia leaves. All right, and then where is my glorious grafter? My wonderful enchanted axe. There we go. All right, and we'll go ahead and cut this down. And then we can put up a couple feeders this way. And I love the glorious grafter because every time we cut a tree down, I don't feel very guilty because the glorious grafter happens to have the uh, fortune enchantment on it that gives us so many saplings, so many saplings. But yeah, you guys, uh, we'll talk about it more when we start curing all of the villagers. But I really want to set up more shops. I want to expand basically maybe over to that cliffside and up to like where this path takes up to the, um, the tree of illumination. The entire zombie village into this area because I'm beginning to get a lot of villagers who are cured zombie villagers and they're a very unique set of people and I need more shops and homes for them and I need some more ideas for shops that they could have that are primarily related to their trades or primarily related to recovering from being zombies and if you guys have ideas for shops in the village of light that is wonderful too so we'll look over those things in the future though so no sweat that's just if you happen to have a little spark of creativity rolling around in your head right now now. All right, so let's go down and feed my giraffes. <laughs> I'm so excited. My beautiful, wonderful giraffes. This is amazing. I love you guys. You guys can stay in my yard. There's more dodo eggs. <laughs> Carlos, are you chucking dodo eggs this way for a reason, sir? Oh my goodness. And we'll go ahead. And what I can do is I can come over here. And if I can, I can't really get on the fence from there, but ah, da, da. there we go. I can come over here. And we'll put the acacia wood down like so, and then up again like so, and is that about the height of your head? Maybe up one more? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think what we'll do, then we'll put the leaves, like one leaf, two leaf, three leaf, four leaf. So it's like a little foraging spot. It's It kind of looks like a mini tree. Oh, look at that. That's perfect height. Perfect height. All right, so I'll come and do it down here too. So kind of like, well, I need to be able to get up. So mm, I guess I have enough leaves. I can do this. <laughs> All right. Oh, you guys, I am so ridiculously happy. This is also why it's useful to learn skills and also why it's really useful but to be nice to your mod authors. Because I remember when Pablo was first starting out, like, I was like, oh, this guy is really good. And then there were people who were like, yeah, your bird mod's like, well, awesome. But you should add this, 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 and this. Because I see so. And I remember thinking, no, like, I can't let this person think that this is the way that people can talk to them when they're taking their free time to make all of these creations. So I reached out to Pavo and Ben and I reached out to him and we we're like, hey, your work is awesome and I hope you know it. And then Pavo was like, oh, thanks so much. And then he became our friend. And it just goes to show you guys, don't like take advantage of people who are trying out something like creative wise, like content that they make for you or mods that they make for you because you might, you might kill the little spark of their creativity. Like you might make it burn low. And if that had happened with Pavo, we would never have giraffes and we would never have like his amazing self and the way that he makes so many signs and beautiful Da Vinci creations for our zoo. So be nice to your creators, you guys. Oh my goodness. And this is amazing. This is amazing! Look, they have plenty of things to be able to forage on and eat now. This is fantastic. They have a little well. This is going to be Siri's beloved giraffe um, giraffe area. I think Darling's excited too. He would approve. Like, I know real life Darling definitely approves of the idea of having giraffes in our yard. But of course, with the giraffe's health always coming first. So I'm kind of... I I'm kind of tempted to like put the well up a little higher somehow. Um, I know giraffes do that funky splay leg thing when they drink. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, oh, Ben. Say hello to everyone. 
I know they do that funky splele thing when they drink, but oh my gosh. Ah, oh, they're just so cute. But I don't know if there's like a better way to provide water for giraffes. So I'm gonna have to look up what they what giraffes do like ideally to drink water from. But oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is wonderful. All right, well, let's keep going, you guys. I'm going to be, <laughs> Ben says greeting subjects as usual. And I'm going to be cooing over these giraffes for so long because it's probably going to be a little while before we're able to expand over into the safari area. But that is definitely going to come up soon. But that just come on, come on. Now I get a view of Darling, of Easter eggs, of the Squicken, of all of this beauty and giraffes in the background. That I can't ask for a better life. This is just amazing. All right, so let's see what we're going to do next. Let's try to put away some of our things. Did I jump on? I jumped on puddings. Oh my gosh, she's going to get so mad. I jumped on her little spot. I need to fix that. Do I have... I don't have any hose anywhere anymore. Oh, why is this the case? Okay, well, I'm going to have to make like one out of cobblestone then really quickly. So there we go. Just a little stone hoe just to fix that real quick. Because my Aki's work so hard. They don't deserve to have me like tear their, their hard work apart with my clumsy fingers or clumsy feet. Clumsy rabbit feet. I probably won't be a rabbit much longer though, as much as I love it. It's adorable, but still. All right, so, or maybe, you know, it would be interesting to see if I could wear this rabbit outfit and go infiltrate some of the fishing bun territory. That would be really cool. All right, so there, all right, and I'll put the little stone hole away somewhere. And let's go, oh my gosh, they're stuffing this thing full again. I need to empty this really quickly. There we go, all right. And then, yep, there's the Aki's working hard. Let's go release the squirrels down into the Walnut Center. No, the cookies! No, my cookies, come back! <laughs> I lost some cookies. <laughs> Dang it. And for those of you who are wondering, like, what this does, this chest is hooked up to a hopper that will hook the entire thing up, the, everything that goes in this chest up to a sorting system that sorts all of the food and puts it into our pantry down below our feet, our little root cellar pantry. So that's what that does. All right, and then let's put away some more things. Oh my goodness, the girls are still looking amazing and their outfit has just been one. Oh my gosh. Ben has been here. Persephone, I don't know why you and Ben enjoy like exchanging drinks all the time, but Ben has been here and he has changed out what kind of drink he and Persephone are enjoying. It's a fermented bottle of tea. So cordial bottle fermented type tea. So he and uh, Persephone are enjoying some more drinks together, I suppose. Uh, well... You know, I, I can't harass her. It's her own life to live. All right, we've got all the cotton. A bazillion and a half ink sacks that I have no idea what to do with at this point. Um, all right, hang on. Siri's, Siri's getting confused, overwhelmed. So much to do in the zoo. So many things. I need a new, like, area to put the ink sacks. All right, oh, all right. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to add in the birthday wishes. There's so many cool things. Add in the birthday wishes from our friends and the Easter quest right in here. All of these notes in these bookshelves are from other people on the server over the last year. And it's been so fantastic. I love filling up the bookshelves like that with custom stories and notes and just friendly greetings between people. I really need to take some things to other people and just like be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so awesome. All right, we've got a bazillion and a half cakes, so I should probably sort things in the kitchen pretty soon. Still have this cakey. Oh, I ate that cake. All right, well, let's put the chocolate sprinkle cake down next because they're one of Darling's favorites. So we'll eat off the chocolate sprinkle cake. And I really need to make a new, like, sweet drawer. Oh, gosh, I have so many cakes. <laughs> I have so many cakes. This is amazing. Yeah, I need to make a new sweet drawer. Where we can uh, maybe like in admire all of our cake. So that's awesome. And then let's see. I want to put the butterflies away in a special place. And I actually know where I want to put them away. And I'm going to put them on a shelf just until I have the butterfly house that we're working on building built. So little chips, you're in charge of watching after these butterflies, okay? Look at this. Look how cool this is. Because they're alive in these little jars. And now they are up and we can just like stare at them. That is so neat. Do I have any like plants on me still? I want to see what it looks like um, if I put like a little shrub up on there too. So like there. There! Oh, it's like we have little plants decorating our shelves. That is so fun. I want another shrub over there. All right, let's see. I'm going to put one right down here. Ah, it's adorable. I love it. I love it. All right, so here's three of the, I think there's like 200 species of butterflies that we could run into in our world. Our world is amazing. Oh, 
so tempted to give you a kiss on the cheek, but I don't know which darling clone is my real darling yet, so I can't give him a kiss. It's been so long since I've just run up to him and kissed him and said, Take that! And I almost went down the wrong way. We can't go down to the zoo that direction yet because the uh, chocobo are still breeding. So let's just go down to the walnut center. I'm going to take the waterfall way down because it's kind of exciting. Pew! As long as I don't get hit on the rocks. Why every time? Every single time. I'm like, wait a second. The rocks. The rocks. I might get bashed to pieces on the rocks. But we're all right. All right. Let's go jump over here. So much to do in the zoo. So much going on. It's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. So much more to do. All right. I'm going to eat this carrot cake. It's delicious. All right. So, Marigold Garden, garden that Tyler planted. And then there's Specialist Cassidy with her, her Taz and her adorable little bunny Smokey. And here is the Wellnut Center in progress. Still figuring out what I'm going to do for the actual, like, information center part of it. But here is the Wellnut Center, the Squirrel Rehabilitation Center, filled with pecans and walnuts and all sorts of awesome things. And we have an adorable little squirrel that's right up here. You can see it up there. It's so cute. We have decorated um, most of the rooms. I need to get down. Let's see. So let's get the three, four squirrels. And there's a four squirrel. And there's a four squirrel. And then let's get down all of the things I gathered. This is when we went on that little expedition to kind of like collect different things. There we go. A boxwood would probably be good there. Swedish ivy. I wonder if Swedish ivy up on the, the walls, something like growing down there, maybe growing from down there would be good. Um, so the squirrel can kind of like climb it, maybe have some fun. Um, not really grasses, I don't think. Dead leaves for them to be able to rustle around in. Meadow grass for them to be able to play with, maybe. Like so. Um, maybe some bright grasses. There we go. That looks like a good room for the squirrels. These mushrooms are spreading really quickly. So is there an appetite I could put in here? There is a turkey tail. As an appetite, that is a type of thing that will grow up on the sides. Uh, I think I can put one right there, yeah. Up on the sides of the trees, which is so much fun to watch, by the way. All right, we can probably put some more Swedish ivy in here to give this squirrel some privacy in case it needs to recover in privacy. So there we go, some things in there for this squirrel. And I'm pretty sure, did I manage to get any Swedish ivy? Maybe right there. Nope, not right there. Maybe right here. Maybe right here for this squirrel to enjoy some bright ground cover. There we go. All right. So we've got three new rooms in our squirrel walnut center set up. So here's... <gasps> there you are! You are so cute! We're going to need names for the squirrels. So there's one squirrel, two squirrel. All right. I want to put down... Let's see. Maybe another... Let's do some of this dark green ground cover in here and get this mushroom. Oh yeah, the mushroom gardens! I was gonna keep mushroom gardens in here. Did I lose my mushroom gardens? Darn it! I lost all of those mushroom gardens we gathered when I, I lost my backpack saving the villagers, but it was worth it. Here's another squirrel! Look at this! They're so cute! They're so cute! Look at them! Oh my gosh, and I love when they actually run up on the things we build for them. That is so cool. And then let's add in the final squirrel right here. Oh my gosh, you guys! There's cute little squirrels in our world! They're so precious! Oh my gosh! All right! So we now have four squirrels here in the Squirrel Walnut Center. And we've got so many more things. I still need to put away all of the other animals that people have brought. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put away all of the forest birds and the tiny birds over in the big aviary. The temperate bird aviary that we haven't been over to in quite some time. So that is going to be super awesome. So thank you guys so much. I love sharing this world with all of you so, so much. And there's always so much to do in the zoo. And I can't wait to share more adventures next time. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye.